hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here thank you for joining us if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so today's video is about everything that has happened in the month of april in the bl industry i'm going to start with bl because gl it's not so much but the bl world was on fire this april now the first like video that ushered us into april was the video of jimmy c now jimmy c were performing they had a concert and they decided to perform like a part of their show their show i think it's called the last twilight like to just be honest i've never watched anything concerning jimmy c i just haven't gotten the appeal from them but a lot of people have said that they are very good actors and all that but they don't give me a vibe that i would like like to me i don't feel like they have the chemistry that i would actually watch and enjoy their show now i i did say the same thing between fast and kautang and i was proven wildly wildly wrong with only friends and I'm actually now one of their biggest fan, and when I say fan, I don't mean shipper, but I actually feel like they do have the chemistry, so I am willing to give Fast and Jimmy an opportunity to prove me wrong, but I don't know, I still haven't gotten around to watching Last Twilight. Now, during that concert, they did something that people said that accused them of queer baiting and a lot other people decided to join the Jimmy C camp and even for the first time I actually saw numerous numerous of their things from the GMM TV shop actually getting sold out which means at the end of the day whatever they did did actually work but again now the people who are accusing them of queer baiting, it's like, to me, I will say like, if they are on stage and they are performing a part of their show or an extension of their show, I wouldn't necessarily call that queer baiting because at the end of the day, it's art that they are producing. But if they do it on like a separate part whereby they are no longer the actors they are there on themselves then that is what i will consider like queer baiting because you are trying to bait people into thinking that you are something that you are not then that is what i'll call baiting but the fact that they were on stage they were performing then that is performance and it's not necessarily queer baiting so let me know in the comment section if you think it was queer baiting or it's not because right now we've seen that they have they gathered a lot of fans even when GMM TV was doing part two of their shows that are supposed to come like this year like people are very disappointed that Jimmy and C were not included and I think because GMM TV didn't think that they were that huge and like they deserved a show because again as i said jmm tv goes with the numbers and jimmy c's numbers weren't that huge before so probably now in the next year or maybe later on they might decide to give them a show or not so we will see about that so in april the filming of four minutes by Jess and Bible began and we are eager, extremely eager to watch it because we remember that this is the first BL that Jess is going to be on. So let's just be kind because if you've watched his other work, he's actually fantastic. So I'm hoping that he will nail like this BL on top because remember like there's huge, huge shoes that he's going to fill like the bible build like fandom was huge like it was huge that if they were given another opportunity or another project i always felt like it was going to be huger than my apple 
now i don't know if jess is going to like bring all the lovers of bible build back by bringing them to jess bible or bible jess which one is it like i don't know but whichever works like i don't mind i don't care so yes I don't know what the fandom is called yet or people will decide after the show like the way a lot of people do but yeah so i'm hoping to see like if for me it is a success because i did love the the storyline the plot and i'm hoping like the execute it is the execute it perfectly which beyond cloud is very good at that like Yes, they give us one show a year, but when they do give us a show, like it's always done to perfection. So I don't know if the problem is that they're perfectionist or what, because I do feel like they pretty do have enough money and I'm sure that people will jump at an opportunity to like spend money on them for a show because they know it will be a success so i don't know what the issue is and why they only give us one project a year but yeah i'm looking forward to four minutes so another thing that did happen was path shimon path shimon was the next target of stalkers like people have been following them when they go to work at gmm tv in the hotel parking lot and like look again and again like these actors are always outside like outside especially gmm tv actors they are always outside so i don't understand why people actually need to follow them around all the time because yes they do have events that people have to pay for but they also have events or things where people can see them free of charge like in the malls or all that like i don't understand the like the need to actually follow these actors on their private time because i do believe like there's some sick sick fans who feel like when they do follow them when they're out of work they would actually get them being intimate or close and all that but for goodness sake but Chimon, seriously, like you actually feel like you would actually, and this is not me supporting whatever is happening, but do you actually in your right senses feel like Pat Chimon, that ship is the one that you would actually get something of them? seriously okay so that did happen i don't think i actually saw a statement from gmm tv i'm not sure but if gmm tv did make a statement like they're sure like please tell me in the comment section about path and chimon being followed but yes that did happen to path and Chimon. Another thing that did happen this April is a whole bunch of Studio Wasabi actors like exited from Studio Wasabi and went into GMM TV. I'm still waiting to know where my earth went, like who had. And I love, love, love him. And I do feel like, yes, it would have been great if he went to GMM TV, but I'm hoping that he decides to go on his own and actually become a freelancer into this project. Because again, I feel like when he goes to GMM TV, he's going to be on the back. And I don't feel like his talent deserves that. He's an amazing, amazing actor. Like with every project that Kuhat or earth has done like his acting has been top notch like nothing short of a, like a good 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 day's work so i don't know i'm eager to see where he lands 
but I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping it's not beyond cloud. I'm thinking probably he might decide to go to Star Hunter because there is there is where Moss and his Banky are and they are quite good friends. So yeah, I'm hoping to see where he lands. So another thing that did happen is Bako decided to open a Patreon account and in that account like he was going to like be giving the money away. I don't know if it's all of it or some part of it to a charity. Now a lot of fans came after him and saying that he was going to be unrelatable to most people and most of his fans are going to like shy away from supporting him or stop supporting him because his content is going to be locked for people with money and like most of his fans don't have that kind of money to be purchasing memberships so Bako decided to close the account now Bako I think he did this because he was obviously like he knew that he was changing the direction of his agency because we've now found out that he's no longer part of beyond cloud now we still don't know where he has landed and some people are saying he's probably going to join gmm tv because again we've seen him like hanging out with people like fourth and gemini but we do know that they're in the same age group they're in the same school so and they are all of them are stars so they obviously know each other through that because they probably have had to like form a group in school because of the amount of like fame they have and the attention that they bring whenever they're in school so it's probably that and then some people are thinking what if he decides to join jeff sata I don't know if it will be a good move for him. Yes, Jeff Sata is doing perfectly well by himself, but it, does it really mean that he's able to like now manage backwards career? And like a lot of people are excited because they feel like now that he's no longer in beyond cloud, it means that the Jeff backward ship is back and is back in full force and i don't think so so i am going to hold off until i get to know where he clearly is going and tell me in the comment section where you think he's going to land do you think he's going to land on gmm tv because backward is still young he still doesn't have the experience and i think that him going solo now is not actually going to be something very good for him i feel like he still needs to be under an agency and a very good agency at it because he's like a very good artist a very good musician and he's also like doing better in acting so for those talents to be fully honed by someone who knows like they are always in backward like it will be extremely extremely good so i'm hoping that he lands in a well-seasoned agency that will be very very good for him now another thing that did happen is bright nini bright nini were in japan having a date or something because they were going out to eat so i think it's a date and they were just being together cute and loving and all that now people had followed them as this wasn't right i think they were followed until the wee early mornings and the photos were posted and bright like the next day took charge and told fans that he's sorry that like but he loves like her he didn't necessarily use these words, but he told fans, like, sometimes some love is good for me and you guys think it's not good for me. But you should understand that if it's good for me and it makes me happy, that is what is most important. Now, some fans 
caught the drift and what he was trying to say. Some other fans decided to continue playing dumb and to not actually understand what he's saying. Now, the, the next day, some account came out, like a fake account portraying or trying to be Nini and saying that they don't have any relationship with Bright, which Bright came out again to actually confirm that his relationship with Nini was true. Now, Bright like received a lot, a lot, a lot of backlash, which a lot of us, me included, didn't understand why. Because if there is the top straightest BL couple in the BL world, it's bright and win. Like, I didn't understand why people were so upset, why people were so mad, because this is not the first time Bright has been linked to a woman. It's not even the first time Win has been linked to a woman. It's not Bright's first girlfriend. He has had girlfriends that people have known of. So the fact that people haven't known of his girlfriend, I think from of him having a girlfriend, is it from 2021? Or 2020, I'm not sure. Didn't mean that he magically started dating Win, Because in 2022 or 2023, we linked Win with a woman. So I didn't understand their logic as to why they were thinking that way. And then... Like, a lot of people also accused Win of not actually showing support. Like, constantly trying to make people understand that it was not okay to, like, bully Bright or leave the Bright Win camp or leave Bright. Because a lot of Bright Win groups were changing and they were deciding to now support to win alone and not bright and win and some even just bright camps were also deciding to leave now if win was in an active ship with bright then you best believe like the people around them will be pushing win to actually like support Bright every single time to actually post things with Bright. Like right now, we will be having like 10 events with Bright and Win to actually show that they are a strong couple and they are not going anywhere. But remember, Bright decided to go on his own and Win is still in GMMTV which I think it's actually a good thing because if Win wasn't with JMMTV and he was like solo, like a lot, a lot, a lot of heads will be coming towards him right now the way they did Becky Dati because they wanted Becky to stand up and fight for two grown people, which doesn't make sense. Now, Nini also herself came out and made a post saying that he and Bright were together and all that and they make each other feel good and so on and so forth. Now, people are still not buying it because now, because Bright did say that he wanted to tell his fans himself when the time is right and he feels bad that he wasn't able to do it and people started calling him out, calling him a liar because now people started going through the timeline and they realized that Bright was in a relationship since last year or is it the year before? I think it's 2023 if I'm not wrong. I don't think I've seen anything past 2023 but if there is, please tell me in the comment section. And people are saying that the only reason that he decided to come out is because he was caught. He, if he was never caught, he was never going to come out. Which I do agree because like a lot of these BL actors, 
do exactly the same the same thing except the one from i feel you linger in the air i don't know i'm forgetting his name he came out without like any hesitation or anything and he decided to say yes i'm dating this woman and so on and so forth please tell me if you've seen him on your timeline like it's like crickets there people actually stopped caring about him the minute he said he was straight or he was dating a woman let me say he was dating a woman because he didn't say he was straight so yeah bright was exactly scared of that because we know that he has been hinting that he was going to have a project with win he has said that on numerous occasions that even though he's not in gmm tv that he's going to have a project with win this year this year or very soon he said very soon i think so i feel like he was trying to still he didn't specify whether that project was going to be a bl because i don't think he wanted to play bls because he did those that two part bl and i feel like he said no it isn't for me because don't come after me and tell me that gmm tv never had a bl storyline for bright and win absolutely it had because i think the only reason they were never part of bl is because both of them didn't want to there are many storyline don't tell me they felt like no storyline was good for them that's just me saying that i feel like both of them never wanted to be part of a bl show again or maybe one of them was they want to be part of a bl show again and the other one couldn't just change partners because brightwin was a huge thing and gmm tv didn't want to fumble that so they wanted to still hold them there and give fans like an opportunity to wish and dream that someday they were going to have a bl and it was never going to happen so i feel like he didn't want to come out because he probably didn't want people not to like support that bright, mysterious like project that he has with win or he was going to have with win or whatever so yeah a lot of people left a lot of people unfollowed him and that's that so we know that in the month of march james decided that he was no longer going to be part of the net james ship he was leaving and he was going to be an artist now a lot of people question what did he mean by an artist because being an actor is also an artist so what exactly did he mean now some people said that he loves drawing so he was going to focus on drawing some other people said that he loved what did he love he loved singing so he was going to be a singer and now we haven't seen any project or any hint of any project of him and if it has been done or said please let me know in the comment section if there is a music out with gems a song out with the gems or an art piece or there is an art exhibition with gems let me know in the comment section because i honestly don't know now net did come forward and say that he has like a new partner and this partner is younger than him and he's a friend to his brother so yeah that is going to be his new partner now they did have a show coming up i don't know what it's called like but it's a uh, what do they call these shows like a long long time ago like 
couple centuries ago show and it had an amazing amazing trailer with net and gems so i'm hoping that this new actor comes out and kills it i've not seen him and i don't know who he is i haven't seen in the timeline like people pushing around his picture so i actually don't know how he looks like but yes and the shocking thing is that during songkran like net and james didn't even hang out so i don't understand why this bl actors actually do this because yes some people say they probably can't hang out together because some delusional fans will think that they are back and they can still work together and ship them but i'm thinking like the whole time you were ship you guys were telling us you are friends you are brothers you are so close that you can't not spend your time away from one another but the minute that the ship is not a ship you guys are no longer friends brothers and too close to not spend time together because even during the songkran like they had this whole group this dumondi group out there having fun and all that like the last time i checked i still think james is part of dumondi so like i didn't understand why he wasn't out there having fun with james like it's okay the people who get it will get it because whichever way you will still get hurt like it is okay to actually hang out and be friends that's the only way you can make people understand that ships are not always that deep like they are just tv ships and that's it but the fact that we couldn't even see you guys together like we don't even see you guys interacting and if they do interact please me let me know in the comment section because again i'm not all knowing i might miss one or two things and i'm up for being like corrected and being directed to like real events of things happening so yeah that was weird for me but again I'm still looking forward to the BL show because again a good storyline is a good storyline and I don't give to F who is on it as long as it's a good storyline and it is well acted I'm going to support it anyway Now Jamm TV also did their whole part 2 lineup Now the shocking thing was that Nanon who had clearly stated last year that i think ploys whatever book or something was going to be his last like show and he was focusing on music now miraculously decided to come back to acting now when it came out i did tell people that he was doing the jeff star move some people came after me call me all sort of words not jeff star jeff sata because jeff sata decided that he was living beyond cloud because he wanted to focus more on his music a few months later getting he has a show with ingfa waraha now when nanon came up with that thing I did tell people that he was going to do the exact same thing because I feel like Jeff Sata just wanted to come out of Beyond Cloud and he had to use like try to convince them in some sort of way that he ne- he doesn't want to be part of them and I feel like he used his music because his music was very big back then and he still So I feel like Nanon he wanted to live and get out of the Om Nanon ship and I feel like he said that he no longer wants to act because he wants a project that means so much to him then he will be back to acting and then ding A few months later he has this amazing project that 
like means so much and is going to move mountains and now he's back scarlet whatever and i am going to surely watch that show because again i love its plot, plot line and i think i haven't watched anything from win apart from the bl don't ask me why because but that bl was mm. okay now i am going to watch it because they are amazing like the cast is amazing the cast is fully star studded and i would actually want to see them all together and see who actually shines there because the last time jmm tv brought us a full star studded project only friends like people who i didn't expect to shine actually are the ones who shine to the project and i'm talking about fast and kautang because again as i've said before i wasn't huge fans of them but now i am very huge fans of them because they surpassed like whatever like level i had put them and it made me want to watch the other projects together because i actually wanted to see what i was missing from them but like only friends phew fast katang like i saw the other projects but only friends like they did give me what i actually want from them and what i actually saw other people see in them then that's what i saw from only friends so i'm actually wanting to see this and i actually want to see force without kasi book like i want to see him apart and i also want to see tay apart from new and i know that they have had projects where they have acted like some other tv shows there that they have acted apart from their partners but i actually want to see this so change 2561 also decided to come up with their own lineup and like po and pavel have two projects coming out and like we know that po and pavel are like kind of the first of 2561 so i think that's why they felt like it was okay to give them two projects but they all there are also other amazing amazing projects and some people are saying that change to 561 was going to take over jmm tv is that possible no i don't think so because you can't compare two or three stars with 10 20 amazing stars like it can't work like there is no competition there like jmm tv still now will take the bigger share of the pie no matter how good like change to 561 projects are because jmm tv gives people different flavors like you have your 30 year old gays you have your 20 year old gays you have your 19 year old gays you have like the straight straightest gay couple you have the like oh one is masculine one is feminine couple you have like Oh this this one can interchange and kind of be a feminine and a feminine gay couple like JMM TV has flavor and at the end of the day I'm not going to eat plain food when I can have flavor so for now I still think JMM TV is going to have the biggest share of the market because of the flavor that they provide there but we will see i'm open to be shocked and proven wrong as always so i'm thinking if change to 561 brings more diversion 
brings more projects because again gmm tv has the biggest share because of the amount of projects that they put out bl projects that they put out so if change to 561 can do that can bring us every single month they bring us a new bl then and they bring us diversions and they do give us different age groups of BL actors, then we might as well say bye-bye to GMMTV. So that is the end of this video and everything that happened in the month of April concerning the BL world. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole thing. And yeah, I did forget, like, Build also came out and said that He's having his projects coming out soon. So yeah, for the Build fans, look out for that. I don't know why I forgot to include it. But because, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because there isn't like so much information, <coughs> excuse me, concerning it. But the minute, like, there is a whole, a whole lot of information, like a trailer and like, where the production house and everything and other actors like who are going to be part of the show i'm going to make sure i do like a whole video about it and put it here because i know we are all curious to see what he's going to do after the whole beyond cloud fiasco and yeah see what he decides to do is it going to be a bl is it going to be just a show yeah, we, we are all curious to see which route he takes. Some people will say, like, they don't care what he does, but you best believe when that show comes out, there are going to be a lot of views and a lot of people watching to see how the whole thing goes. So, yeah, tell me in the comment section what you think about this whole thing, which, which one was more shocking which is the most shocking news that came out of the BL world this month. And yeah, so like this video, comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, turn on the post notification. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.